happening right now at Austin Bergstrom Airport. Rescue crews are on standby and Texas Task Force 1 is ready to go just in case flash flooding hits our area. Alicia Inns joins us from one of the many closed low water crossings with an update. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Brian. Yeah, we're at Brushy Creek and Summit Street, and uh, we are actually here on Monday checking out the conditions, and I'm going to step aside and show you what has changed since then is on Monday, actually, this water was dangerously close to getting over this bridge. Now, as you can see, it's starting to flow, overflow it, um, and that's great news for the ducks and things in the area. Not so good news for drivers that want to get through this area. So this low water crossing is closed at the moment for obvious reasons. Um, but as we talked about, the Texas Task Force 1, they have a rotation of about 300 people who specialize in water rescues that are located across the street in case something bad should happen. And they're known to be the most deployed urban and search rescue team here in the country. So right now crews say they have two helicopters on standby um, and they actually spent much of the day yesterday prepping for possible flooding in our area. It's not that you want an opportunity because when we go out, somebody's having a bad day. Um, but that's what we're training for. And we've been checking these low water crossings for you right now. There are about 21 closed in the area, something to keep in mind as you head out the door. Of course, you can check all of that over at our website at KXAN.com. And I'll tell you, you don't want to be one of the people that those crews come out and rescue. So we say it and we'll keep saying it. Turn around, don't drown. It's so important. If you're in this area, Brushy Creek has about five areas along the water that are closed for low water crossings. If you're in this area, turn around, don't drown, find an alternate route and stay safe. Sally and Brian, I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Alicia. It isn't just the roads either. A reminder this morning, the Barton Creek Greenbelt is still closed, and it could be that way for some time with the threat of flooding rains. The Austin Parks and Recreation Department says it's not safe right now, and that's due to fast-moving water and the slick conditions and the threat of erosion out there. So we'll let you know when the trail opens back up.